Welcome to our channel Agriculture and Technology. In today's video we are going to see How to maintain drip irrigation system Check all working emitters or dripper, inspect the water leakage and make sure that water is uniformly distributing all of the corners of this plot, field. Check water dispensation area if their dry patches are found increase drip irrigation operation time. If a twist, fold, cut, puncher is observed on lateral, sub-main, valve correct it immediately. Clean the filters. The filter is the main part of the drip irrigation set. If the filter is not working properly there is the major chance of complete drip irrigation system failure. Sand filter. Clean sand filter after every week. Backwashing facility available in sand filter uses this by allowing water flow through the lid instead of the water valve and stir the sand in the filter. So, the waste which is sitting at the bottom will come and go out of the water. Screen filters slash dice filter. Open the lid and remove the mud and garbage trapped. Open the filter and remove the filings and rubber seals and clean it on both sides. Submain pipe and laterals tubes. Sometimes a fine particle, dirt pass through filter and store in the main and submain tubs, laterals. Therefore, to clear these tubes, remove the end cap, flush valve and let the water flow. Do this until the clean water come. Chemical treatment. The drippers are stopping working due to various alkali. If the amount of carbonate, bicarbonate, chlorides, sulfur, manganese, and calcium, sulfur sulfate is higher in water, yellowish dots appear, and the reddish dots appear on dripper and if the amount of iron is higher red spot appear on dripper following treatment carried out. 1. Acid treatment. Acid treatment useful for though dripper and laterals blocked by various chemical impurities including fertilizer residue. This impurity can be removed by treating the system either with hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid or nitric acid among this hydrochloric acid at 25% dose is best for the acid treatment. Method Take required amount of hydrochloric acid in water. Inject it into the system through the venturi or fertigation tank. The system is filled with water allow acid solution into the system until the pH of 4. A check pH with litmus paper for both at the starting and the last dripper. Close the system for 24 hours. The acidified water in the system reacts with the salts deposited in the system and dissolves it. After 24 hours they are acidifying water along with the dissolved solids comes out of the system by flashing. 2. Chlorine Reaction Chlorination is useful to remove the biological impurities collected in the drip irrigation system. Chlorination can be done either by using calcium hypochlorite, sodium hypochlorite, chlorine or calcium hydrochloride or bleaching powder. Method Dissolve the required quantity of bleaching powder in water one day before treatment. These solutions are let into the system through venturi or fertigation tank and allow it to stay in the system for 24 hours. After that open the end caps of the lateral and run the system for about an hour so that the impurities are thrown out of the system. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.